I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. In this session, I'm going to discuss the working principle of three phase induction motor. You know, it's an AC motor. Almost 80% of the industry are depending on the induction motor itself. There are a lot of setbacks in the DC motor. So if I talk about induction motor, there are a lot of advantages compared to DC motor. You can see a pictorial view of induction motor. The main components of induction motors are, we have the stator and another part is called rotor. And we have some other supplementary or you can say auxiliary mechanism for there is a fan, then there is a shaft, also there is outer covering, fine, driving end as well as non-driving end, okay. Also, you can get the details of induction motor using the nameplate. Can you see the nameplate rating? Yes, this is called, every motor there will be a nameplate rating. Yeah, this is called a nameplate. Okay, let me note down, nameplate. Usually induction motors are expressed in terms of like uh, 1 kilowatts or 2 kilowatts, like that. In commercial purpose, they will mention like uh, 1 HP. Okay, 1 HP, 2 HP, like that. So, it is expressed in terms of power rating. So, 1 HP is nothing but, what is 1 HP? It is nothing but 746 watts. So, induction motor will be X rated in terms of power rating only. You have to remember like that. Okay. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, watts and kilowatts means it's a real power. Fine. So, it is a gen generic view of induction motor. Now let us understand what do we mean by induction motor. Let us move on the first point. Induction motor is an electromechanical device, okay, uh, which converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy. We are providing three phase supply and uh, that is electrical energy. What is the outcome? We are getting the torque, okay. Torque is a mechanical uh, output. So, electrical energy is going to convert into mechanical energy. That is what exactly happening in case of induction motor. So, there are two types of induction motor. One is single phase induction motor and another is three phase induction motor based on the supply. So, the, the three phase induction motors are most commonly used because it's a self-starting device where single phase induction motor is a non-self-starting device. Just observe your ceiling fan. It, that is one kind of single phase induction motor. To start that single phase induction motor, we should have a capacitor starting arrangement. All right. So most common type of induction motors are three phase induction motor. I'm going to talk about three phase induction motor only right now. How does three phase induction motor work? Yes, of course. The three phase induction motor works based on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Fine. Moreover, the induction motor is also known as asynchronous motor. Why it is called asynchronous motor? Because induction motor will be having two types of speed. First one is known as synchronous speed. Synchronous speed is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic field. Another speed is called as actual speed or rotor speed. So synchronous speed is always greater than the rotor speed. So motor is running other than the synchronous speed. Fine, because the rotor speed is always less than synchronous speed. Synchronous speed is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic field. I will let you know what is the synchronous speed and the rotor speed in the coming slides. Okay, I hope you understood the brief idea about induction motor. Fine. Now I will be discussing about how does three-phase induction motor operate. First thing the foremost what you are supposed to do is you can draw the stator. Okay, let me draw the uh, the cross section of a stator. You can mark this is a stator. Okay. It is an outer part of induction motor. Next, you need to draw the rotor. We have the rotor. When you have to mark, this is your rotor. And uh, the shaft is actually inside. You can mark the shaft, hatchet. Where do you provide the supply? Yes, the three phase supply will be given at the stator part. You can mark, we are providing three phase supply. It is 415 volt, 50 hertz AC supply. 
we can mention if you want you can mark r y b like that because it's a three phase supply and stator stator is made up of silicon steel and rotor is made up of copper let us explain the working in a very simple manner first of all i am going to apply the three phase supply as soon as i apply the three phase supply there is a rotating magnetic field inside the stator rotating magnetic field because stator is a magnetic material definitely there is a rotating production of rotating magnetic field it is also having the dimension time being you can understand that there is a production of rotating magnetic field then the rotating magnetic field is linking with the rotor conductor so you can write rotating magnetic field okay rotating magnetic field links with rotor conductor Ro remember rotor is made up of with copper whenever the rotating magnetic field is interacting with the rotor what is going to happen the flux linkage takes place the flux linkage you can write flux linkage changes in the flux this flux linkage results what is going to happen an emf that is going to generate inside the rotor so production of emf or generation of emf so the emf that is directly proportional to rate of change of flux linkage an emf is produced inside the rotor suppose if the rotor is a closed one if the rotor is made closed manner then what is going to happen the production of rotor current okay rotor current this rotor current held responsible for production of torque torque is nothing but it's a mechanical parameter so we are providing the electrical input electrical input is given and what is the outcome outcome will be uh, mechanical output so we are getting mechanical energy electrical energy is going to convert into mechanical energy in the form of electromagnetic induction one more important point uh, three phase induction motor is also known as a rotating transformer remember this a rotating transformer just like an idiom if you are preparing any competitive examination you may get the question like this dash device is known as rotating transformer please select the option as induction motor induction motor is also known as rotating transformer this point you have to remember okay hope you understood the brief working now let me explain how how you are supposed to write in the examination in the exam point of view please draw this particular diagram we have the three phase supply then we have the stator with the stator winding these are called stator winding so this is your stator with the stator winding hope it is very clear to everybody another one is called a rotor we have the rotor this part is called a rotor and these are called a rotor winding okay rotor winding why we are providing the rotor winding because uh, you already studied that e is e is proportional to n into d phi by dt as the number of turns increases the amount of emf which is produced at the rotor is also getting increased because e emf is directly proportional to number of turns that is why we are providing the winding over the then inside the rotor you can see the shaft and there is an air gap here only the flux is going to interact fine yeah this diagram you are supposed to draw in the examination hope it is clear to everybody okay moving further what you are going to write first whenever a three phase supply a three phase supply is given to the three phase stator winding a magnetic field of constant magnitude it is already given 1.5 uh, 1.5 into 5m that means the total magnetic flux is nothing but 1.5 into 5m and that go, that is going to rotate with the synchronous speed so synchronous speed is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic field what is the value of rotating magnetic field the value of rotating magnetic field is 5r is equal to 1.5 1.5 into 5m it is a constant there is a small derivation i'll be doing the derivation separate session right now please do understand that the magnitude of rotating field is nothing but 1.5 multiplied by 5m where 5m is nothing but the maximum amount of flux 
Hope it is very clear to everybody. So we can say that there is a production of rotating magnetic field as soon as I apply a three-phase supply at the stator winding. All right. Yeah. Moving further. Now what is going to happen? Uh, the whatever the magnetic field, magnetic flux which is produced or magnetic field which is produced uh, at, as soon as you apply the three-phase supply, that is going to link with the, the rotor conductor. The rotor conductor is made up of with the copper only, copper. It is made up of with the copper. Fine. Uh, the magnetic field is interacting with the rotor conductor. Rotor conductor is made up of with the copper. Hope it is clear to everybody. Yeah. Now, what, what is going to happen afterwards? Yeah. The rotor conductor cuts the magnetic field. Of course, that will happen. And because of Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, an EMF is produced at the rotor conductor. Fine, because the magnetic field is interacting with the rotor conductor, the flux change takes place. As a result, there is a flux linkage. Due to the flux linkage, an EMF is produced at the rotor conductor. So this is actually happening because of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. You have to write the formula. E is proportional to N into d phi by dt. Hope it is clear to everybody. Fine. This is the way how you are supposed to write in the examination. If the questions uh, came like uh, explain the working principle of uh, induction motor. Let us finalize. The direction of induced EMF is to oppose very cause of it and hence the relative speed between the rotating field and the stator rotor. So here you have to consider the direction. What is the direction of induced EMF? That is equal to minus N into d phi by dt. This is called as lens rule. Okay, lens rule. So see the direction. It will be just like opposite. Furthermore, as the rotor conductors are short circuited, suppose EMF is produced, a voltage is generated. So if you produce a uh, short circuit path, what is going to happen? The current starts flowing through the rotor conductor. Fine. And induced EMF sets up a current, the rotor current. This is called a rotor current in the rotor. And uh, the direction has to produce a torque which rotates the rotor. Fine. This results a rotation, a movement because rotor current is produced. That rotor current is held responsible for uh, the movement of the rotor. So you are providing the three-phase supply. Electrical energy you are going to provide. What you are going to get? You are getting the mechanical energy. Fine. So if you want, you can connect the shaft with respect to your mechanical uh, objects like the moving of lift or any other crane, whatever it may be, so that you can you can able to operate uh, the mechanical system. So electrical energy is the input and the mechanical energy will be the output. Fine. This is the way how the three-phase induction motor works. Now, I would like to conclude. So, three-phase induction motor, it is a self-starting device. It is basically an electromechanical device. Moreover, I can say that it is also known as a rotating transformer. The working of induction motor and the transformers are ultimately same, but the difference is transformer is stationary, where induction motor is a dynamic device. It's a rotating device. That is the difference. Okay. Also, it works based on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. There are several applications like a crane, sha, a chain, crane, you can go for that. Similarly, lift. So there are many more applications. I will make a separate session on application of index three-phase induction motor. So almost 80% of the industries are depending on three-phase induction motor because of it has so many advantages compared to DC motor. Let me know if you are having any doubts. Uh, I'll be clearing you. Okay. Uh, you can give a comments in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great, happy learning. Thank you.